Hello. <clears throat> Today we're going to learn about the uh, male reproductive system. And we're going to use this model first, and then uh, we'll use another model from the uh, torso. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the testes. The function of the testes is to uh, produce sperm and also uh, male hormones. And one of the male hormones is uh, testosterone. Uh, the testes is outside of the pelvic cavity and surrounded by the extension of the skin, which is the scrotum. The sperms will travel from the testes into this structure in here on top of the testes, which is the epididymis. They normally stay in the epididymis for a while and uh, go through a, a process of maturation. Then they will travel through the tubular structure shown in here. And uh, that is the ductus deferens, also known as the vas deferens. It will pass through the abdominal wall through the opening known as the inguinal canals and uh, it will go on top of, uh, of the urinary bladder and extend to the posterior end of uh, the urinary bladder and uh, form this enlargement known as the impula of the vas deferens then they will uh, extend into a section known as the ejaculatory duct. The ejaculatory duct will uh, connect to uh, the urethra. So this part in here is the urethra. There are three parts to the urethra in the male. Uh, this first part in here is known as the prostatic urethra. Then we have the membranous urethra. And then the urethra will extend through the, through the penis. And uh, that is known as the spongy uh, urethra, or also known as the penile urethra. And it will open to the outside uh, through an opening known as the urethral orifice. Associated with the male uh, reproductive system are three male glands. Uh, one of those glands is the prostate gland. Uh, the other one is the seminal vesicle, which is shown right over here. And uh, the third uh, gland is uh, located at the base of uh, uh, of the penis, and uh, that is the bulbo urethral uh, gland. We're going to use also uh, part of the of the torso that shows the male uh, reproductive system, and uh, so we can see the two testes in here. Um, on this side here, uh, we can see the epididymis and we can also see blood vessels in here associated with the ductus deferens. Uh, the ductus deferens along with the blood vessels and the nerves are known as the spermatic cord. Uh, if we follow the ductus deferens on, uh, on the lateral side in here, uh, we can see the uh, ductus deferens. And uh, if we follow it, it will uh, form the enlarged area in here known as the impula of the ductus deferens. And not next to it in here is the seminal vesicle. If we uh, turn this model around, uh, we can also see the uh, prostate gland. And uh, this is uh, this is the rectum part of the digestive system. 
Uh, this particular model, we, uh, we can uh, uh, <coughs> dissect the penis and uh, look at the erectile uh, tissue of the penis. So the, the two masses that we see on the top in here, these represent the corpo corpora cavernosa. And in the center of each one is a deep artery that's associated with the blood flow to the erectile tissue and uh, erection of, uh, of the penis. The other model that we looked at before um, also shows uh, the anatomy of, uh, of the sperm. Uh, so in the top portion in here we, we can see one of the sperms and the sperm has uh, three structures. Um, the head portion, the, the mid piece, and the yellow part uh, represents the tail or the flagellum. The mid piece uh, contain mitochondria that supplies energy to the sperm. Um, the head portion uh, contains the nucleus that has all the genetic information from the male. And uh, then uh, uh, the head is covered by uh, uh, a structure known as the acrosome that will uh, release enzymes uh, used by the sperm to uh, penetrate the egg. That's the male reproductive system.